and happy Halloween. My name is Landis Blair, and I'm uh, an illustrator and author in the Chicagoland area. And given uh, the uh, spooky season, I am going to read to you uh, a dark little story from my book that came out uh, last October, actually, called The Envious Siblings and Other Morbid Nursery Rhymes. So I'm going to read one of these nursery rhymes to you, uh, entitled Honorable Beasts. Hester, said mother, you're being a pest. Go elsewhere till dinner and give me a rest. I hate you, screamed Hester from deep in her chest, before stopping off at this hurtful request. While crying with anger and some indignation, bemoaning her mother's imposed segregation, she saw out her window with deep agitation, a tiger appearing without explanation. Hello, said the tiger. Please join me outside. Poor Hester just stared with her mouth open wide, while pondering deeply before she replied. I thank you, she said, but I'm too terrified. Tut, tut, said the tiger, your fear I can see. And tigers are fierce, but I do guarantee your safety and merriment, if you agree, to come to my lair and have dinner with me. Oh my, Hester said, it sounds lovely, but no, my mother won't like it and won't let me go. I see, said the tiger, but I'm not your foe, and you're not my only friend coming, you know. Hello, said a bear, I am charmed to be sure. And dinner with you has a special allure. With you as our guest, we will put on our furs. What a night we will have! What a feast will occur! Then Hester let out a most pitiful sigh. My mother will yell at me until I cry, for she's making dinner, expecting me nigh. Pish posh, said the tiger. Just look who's nearby. Hello, said a gator. How sumptuous you seem! And you at our table? Oh my, what a dream! I'm so excited, I almost could scream, he said with a smile, and teeth all agleam. How tempting, said Hester, to join in your feast. But if you knew mother, your welcome would cease. She'd call you all wretched, dishonorable beasts, and keep me inside for a year, at the least. How sad, said the gator. Your mother sounds horrid. And, said the bear, her judgment's distorted. But, said the gator, you will be supported, for joining with us will ensure she is thwarted. It seems, said the tiger, that I missed my cue. In my excitement, I failed to tell you. Your mother will be at our fine dinner, too. And the bear and the gator responded, it's true. Then Hester cried out an ecstatic whoopee and promptly climb out of her window with glee. This changes everything. Now I am free to make very merry with mother and thee. And what a fine picture the four of them made. They danced and they sang as they marched through the glade. They strutted and rollicked and never once strayed and root to the lair in their beastly parade. At last, said the tiger, now do step inside. Discover what gaiety we can provide. Hurrah, said the gator, and how, bear replied. And Hester, with gratitude, promptly complied. And lo, how the feast was displayed with great flair. The best decorations, the best silverware. And true to their word, Hester's mother was there, prepared on the table plump and cooked rare. Thank you for listening. Uh, I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day or evening or whenever you're watching this and uh, be safe out there.